Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back again. This is the Review Revolution back at you. And today we're going to take a look at the last carded figure from Hasbro's Marvel Legend Blob series. And we're going to wrap things up with Zorn. A character I really know nothing about. I don't know anything about this character. I don't remember reading him. I barely remember seeing him. But really, actually, a very cool-looking character. And... Um, even though I don't know a lot about him, uh, in, the, uh, in the background that I looked up is kind of a pretzel twist of story. Uh, I still think that this is actually a really cool character. Uh, I'm, I'm, he's definitely certainly not just filler. Um, taking a look at the pack, of course, there we have the portrait of Zorn here at the top. Marvel Legends logo, which, you know, won't be seeing this for a little while, but there it is one last time. The four panels of Zorn which this one is probably my favorite. I really like that portrait of him. Couple other looks. Of course, he is the left leg of Blob. Left leg. And I don't know, I don't remember on the Nemesis wave whether I had the window. I forgot if I, I don't think I've ever, I looked at the time. We'll have to, uh, we'll see if maybe, uh, maybe Red Hulk, maybe that one has it. We'll have to see. <laughs> but uh, taking a look at the back, the other figures that were in the wave started with Thor, went on to Quicksilver, Juggernaut, uh, X3 Juggernaut, X3 Dream Gray, Ultimate Wolverine, Yellow Jacket, uh, She-Hulk, oh, I can't forget her, and now Zorn. With all eight figures, we'll get the Blob, but first, there is a look at the prototype, and they use prototypes in all these portraits. And I can tell you the prototype on this one, because if you take a look at the hand here, and the hand right here, you'll notice something that I don't see on the figure. But we'll get to that. Uh, as for his stats, height 6'2", weight uh, 210 pounds. Wow. <laughs> Real name unrevealed, secret identity secret, alias none, affiliation X-Men, powers, sense and control gravity fields, uh, psychological and energy empath. Cool. Uh, a being of unimaginable power, Kanyan Zorn spent his childhood locked away in a Chinese prison. Hidden from the people who feared his power, his mind was a miniature sun, its dense core encased within a metal mass designed to control its furious energies. When the evil twin of Professor Xavier, Xavier Cassandra Nova, threatened the universe, Kanyan was a key element in helping the X-Men defeat her. He was then recruited to teach to a teaching position at Xavier's Institute and came to instruct the special class. At some point, Kanyan was coerced by some unknown party into believing he was the X-Men's most uh, vigilant enemy, Magneto, and he then launched a devastating attack on New York City, which was uh, countered by the X-Men. Zorn, Zorn killed Jean Grey and was then slain by Wolverine. Hmm. Again, this is a character I know nothing about. I don't remember these events. But, uh, again, when I did research on him, yeah, there's a lot of back and forth. Is he? Isn't he? Was he? Wasn't he? Uh, but in this case, very, very cool character. Get him out of the pack. Get a closer look. Be right back. All right, everybody. We're back. And uh, we've got Zorn out of the pack. And uh, <laughs> it... Yellow and black. Something about yellow and black just seems to work. Because <laughs> just like uh, Yellow Jacket, though he didn't seem all that impressive out of the uh, out of the pack, he is a hundred times better once you get him out. I mean, when you see him in the pack, yeah, okay, you know, he looks all right. But once you get him out, there is a lot to appreciate about the way about the way the figure looks. The only disappointment is a little bit of the. Uh, of the black flaked off. Which that's easy enough to fix. That's real simple. But there is just a lot going on with this figure that is just so cool. It's just really, really nice. Uh, well, I won't, uh, I won't get into my favorites just yet, but I will say that Zorn certainly takes a place among the higher ones. He definitely makes this a wave worth getting. 
not just for Blob, but for the other figures that are included. It's really, really cool. Um, as you can tell, of course, you know he has the jacket, which is made of kind of a soft plastic, sort of like a cape plastic. Uh, underneath, he's got the chains that have him kind of wrapped up. Uh, underneath the chains, it does look as though that it's just kind of a generic gray mold. So that's a little disappointing, but when you're just looking at the figure, except for the the abs, you know, the mold and the, and, and the look is really, really good. All the way up to the neck, it's really nice. And again, the jacket, uh, I love how the jacket is put on there. Got the collar. Like Wolverine, it is basically a black plastic with just the paint apps over it, but the entire uh, uh, presentation of the character is just fantastic. It is great. Uh, he's got the belt, the yellow belt with the X buckle. Of course, the X logo on the boots. And I believe what should be the X logo on the ankles, but of course that pierces right in the middle where the hinge is. But very, well, in the X-Men logo, that's actually not just painted, but that's actually sculpted on the X logo on the arms as well. Just really great. Really nice. Much more impressive than he was in the pack. Uh, in the face, now the head, or at least this head, the mask, I'll give that away, does have kind of a black dry brush over it. So it does give the face a little more pop. It does come out looking really, really good. We have all the little nodules and everything on it. It makes it look like the, the mask is actually there to do something. It's obviously a mask. You can see there's a face underneath, but with little nodules and everything else over it, it looks like it's actually doing something. The blue in the eyes is nice, uh, but considering the portraits have them glowing, I don't know, maybe metallic color or even some white dry brush inside, just to make those seem as though they're shining a little bit more. But the jaw and the teeth, just very, very cool. Um, I guess to go ahead and... Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and show. Uh, as the story says, he was led to believe that he was Magneto. So underneath the mask is, in fact, a Magneto head. You may have just saw, the biggest problem I have with it is on this one, and I'm hoping it's not on all of them, but it looks like on the mold, there was a little bubble that got into the mold. So he's got like a little divot there on the bottom of his chin. Slow down, guys. Pour slowly. But uh, a really, really nice Magneto. Uh, just a flat color, you know, just regular white. Again, no highlights on this head, but still a great sculpt and a great expression. Um, I've read where his head supposedly looks a little small without the mask. And I guess that's that's true. It does look a little small, but it's forgivable. It's not too bad. Uh, it is on a pin and hinge. A pretty fair amount of articulation. Shoulder comes up, out, twist of the bicep, double joint at the elbow, hand does twist. Though, unlike the uh, prototype, there is no hinge on the hands, so the fingers are not articulated. So that's how you know that one on the box is a prototype. He's got the crunch, twist of the waist, uh, leg comes out, oop, out, and it's a little stiff, out again, double joint at the knee, twist of the boot, hinge at the ankle, and it's getting very tight. And of course, a swivel. So, whether or not you choose to keep him masked or unmasked, I'm going to put the mask back on because I think he looks really cool with it on. I'd say Zorn is a pretty good, a pretty cool character to get. And like I said, strengthening the wave so that uh, so that if you're uh, if you're looking for a Blob, it is worth picking up the entire wave for. Speaking of Blob. We do have his other leg, which we'll be putting together real soon. 
For now, though, this has been the Review Revolution saying rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.